And guys, speaking of abundance and like opening things, we've got a special package here from a very special group of people. Mm -hmm. My boy has bought it. I can't wait till you guys see what has just arrived. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. A package from Supplies and Surprise Manila. Oh my god. Guys, look at how cute this box is. Okay, let's open it. Um, I believe this is dog stuff. Um, it's from Olaf, Polo, and Gucci. Two Mabuhay Squad dogs. Interesting. So I guess this is their business. Look them up. It's Supplies N, the letter N, Surprise, M-N-L. Let's open the box. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have a toy. How cute. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs are like, what was that? So that's a new toy for them, thank you. Oh, and so Christmassy. A rope candy cane toy. Awesome. Oh, cute little bow ties. Oh, RJ's gonna love this. RJ stepped out, he's at the bank. Look at how cute. Little bow ties. Oh, what is this? A little handkerchief. Cute, oh cute. This will be for Rizal, I think. You just tie it around their neck. Um, and this is Bark Nibbles. Okay, pumpkin liver. Feed as a treat. Store in a cool, dry place. Awesome, sweet. Bark Nibbles. Okay, thank you so much. And there's a, there's a note here that says, here's an early Christmas gift for the doggos. Supplies and Surprise Manila lovingly curated these gift boxes filled with collars, toys, and treats with our own fur babies in mind, Olaf, Polo, and Gucci. Oh, so this is like season's greetings from Gemma and Anna. Thank you so much, Gemma and Anna, that's great. So Mabuhai Squad, if you've got dogs and you'd like a gift box too, be sure to check them out. It's um, Supplies and Surprise, M-N-L, on Facebook and on Instagram. Oh, it says here, Cypher, Sahara and Rizal. Go support local businesses, guys, and make your dogs happy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, guys, look who's here. I think these two knew it's for them. Okay, Sahara, new toy, new toy. Go. No, I'll give each one something. Go, Sahara, this is for you. Okay, Rizal, this is for you. Candy cane, yep. Go. And Cypher, I've got something for you, wait. <laughs> look at Cypher waiting for his his treat here because you did such a good job at losing weight this week. He's lost weight, guys. He used to be very chubby. This is for you. Go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Guys, do you know what this green fluid is? It's Serpentina. I had to drink a whole kettle of it. By the way, Serpentina is a type of herb um, and it's my secret weapon for like upset stomach because guys, Diarrhea to the max this morning, sorry, TMI. But oh, I couldn't move, I was on the floor, like crumpled up into fetal position for like hours. It hurt a lot. I must have eaten something last night that I shouldn't have eaten. Uh, but this Serpentina, guys, has helped. It made it go away in just an hour. Oh, but it tastes like poison. Oh, you guys ever tried Serpentina? Hmm? All right guys, time to go to the gym. And I think I can ride a tricycle there. Yes, one stopping, awesome. Hello po. All right. Kuya Splendido. All right. Here we go guys, let's go. Yay, back at the gym. Love it, love it, love it. Ah, so good. And it's a pretty nice day here at the gym. Some people are in the pool. Yes, here at the gym. Gonna work out chest today, guys. Woo! All right, see you guys after the workout. All right, guys, finish the workout. Woohoo! That was great. Ah, I'm gonna be super sore. How are you guys all doing, hmm? So, funny enough, 
Uh, this week has been kind of really hectic. Um, of course, missed yesterday's vlog. Sorry, Mabu High Squad. I was out, like, honestly, I've never felt that kind of like stomach pain with like diarrhea. It must have been some kind of food poisoning, guys. I was in bed all day. Literally, I slept through 80% of the day. But yeah, didn't upload yesterday, and I also haven't, didn't upload on time for Ends Canada. Um, and to be honest, this is the most I've like not met my deadlines, guys. But funny enough, very strange, for the Ants Canada channel, the overall views in the month, even though I like missed two days um, of the four that I usually upload. So production for Ants Canada cut in half for quantity wise. The viewership didn't change. One of the videos was performing quite well. And strangely enough, the views overall in the channel rose. It rose. You would think that if I cut the production of my videos in half, like quantity wise, that, you know, the views also would be cut in half. But no, it went up. So then I got thinking, here I am, busting my butt every week to upload ant videos. And sometimes because of the short time span of one week, I'm sort of speed editing, I guess. And it compromises the quality of the video. But I guess because I've had two weeks to do a couple of the videos, quality has been good. Even though quantity was compromised, quality increased. And the return is positive results. So now I'm thinking, man, should I change the Ants Canada upload schedule to like every other week instead of every week? I mean, until we can have a team, an editing team again, which I don't have an editing team for Ants Canada anymore. The pandemic screwed everything up. Um, and our previous editor, Heinz, he had to focus on school. So I don't know, guys. Like. I'm thinking maybe quality is better than quantity in this day and age. What do you guys think? And as for this channel, we've missed a few days, but again, like overall viewership on the channel has not really been impacted. So this is where my business mind comes in thinking, Mikey, we should work smart. If editing less but better quality videos means that it can improve not only the return, the results, like YouTube AdSense wise, but also like let, allow me to have a breather and improve the quality of the videos, then why not decrease the uploading schedule? I don't know guys, these are things I'm thinking about. And we're halfway up this ramp of inspiration. And guys, it's hot. <laughs> What do you guys think? Quality over quantity or quantity over quality? Let me know. All right, guys, positive affirmation time for Wednesday, November 24th. I listen to my intuition. My inner wisdom guides me. And next, positive affirmation for Thursday, November the 25th. Taking good care of my health is like depositing money in the bank. I am rewarded with energy and vitality for my efforts. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation about health. All right, guys, back home, and we have a special guest here visiting the cottage. Yes, guys. Mabuhay Squad. Welcoming, welcoming our special guest. 